Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Sit Down with Juliana. I'm so excited. I'm always excited, but this time in a very special way. A savior in a time of need, the bravery of a woman. In your time of need, she does the deed, the magic of a woman. Woman, woman, a warrior is a woman. Woman, woman. This guy, Mukwano Gwange, he's my brother. We've grown up together in the music industry. He's legendary status. He's done so much for this industry. He's a father, a husband, a businessman. So much. Ladies and gentlemen, biblical. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> How are you? You are the only Moses. Moses, na chiku yitako. Ene wa mama mtako Moses. Those days before, yeah? Yes. I think ena kuza kapitonge itaandika. Oh yeah. Sabrina, zita kwa na kuitako Moses that time. Yeah. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Thanks for the invitation. How is life? Fair. Mm. I can't complain just to thank God. Mm. Mm-hmm. Wabutambu zoti oblamu. Mutambu zafu. Patiently though, mm. but uh, programmed and, and uh, yeah. I think um, if all goes well, I must just thank God. Yeah. Because if I've lived 45 years praying to him, mm. then I can see that my light at the end of the tunnel. So maybe the next life I live yeah. should be thanking. Exactly. And I mm. like that you point out thankfulness because... Mm. Like we sometimes we spend so much time complaining about and the, appreciating the, the little we have. And yet Olusa Bibi is like the least. Exactly. No matter who complaining and you just forget to say thank you mm. to God. In a fact, it an stress because if you don't sit back to account accountability of your own life. Yeah. No gamba but for sure na ise wande ge around about na mpite mulago na enze city munda kuchitanda nze na sobodo kuita but there are people who are inside, inside. no tuka kale no tuka e kama chanoga m mm, na enze ni nemere waka i'm seeing some people who are very muhaso no tuka waka no sanga bana bava kusomero ga na enze i could afford school fees yeah walu abataina so in that way, if you don't account like that, you won't be appreciative. Kati go sigala ne mindset yene, you could know ya bi said I'm kama kati wangu sawa nze. Chifula ulusu ndoza ne kato nda atukua. Kwa nga ya bae nabi ya kuwade na ye, just to be tabidaba. Uli nga tabidaba, yogede kuchintuwe chechoku ita kudua alilo. Nze usually I get that feeling when I see an ambulance. Ebe kulia o masogo. Nenga tumanyi. Nenga the person inside there. Yes. Probably one minute late to the hospital. I know. I know. I lost a son. Yeah. Shortcut. It was Sorry. a hump in an ambulance that took oh, off the oxygen. Um, and the difference was exactly what you said. One minute. Kulugugu bypass. Yeah. But by the time. Eh, well, a hump. Kusaidi. Kwa tuwa itu vansa ambi. Kati kulugugu bypass. Kwa hump. Kusijen na wukako. Fidgeting to put it back is a waste of time. We try to get our own to UMC. Mm. So that minute, that could be 30 seconds. And that is all that you think about. Anyway, maybe also we appreciate growing up. Because mm. maybe we wouldn't, I wouldn't have seen it, the importance of thanking. Mm-hmm. Uh, thanking God mm. at an early age. I know. I took oh, life for granted. You did so much. So much. Uh, you feel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, there's that, there's that uh, meme, Jenalaba, mm. Ngabaga Manti, don't grow up. Growing up is a scam. And what that meant was that when you're younger, everything is perfect. Exactly. Until you grow up. <laughs> 
<laughs> and you see what life really means. <laughs> and then and then no one won't grow up unless if you die before growing up. Yeah. So uh, it's, it, but it's interesting. Mm. It's interesting. I mean having family it, uh, uh, having a wife. Yeah. Being a father, being called a father, mm-hmm. taking responsibility, mm-hmm. solving people's problems. Because you, you remember we come from when you're young, your mm-hmm. problems are to be solved. By someone else. Yes, but now you're the one supposed to solve someone else's problems. Not one, not two. Have you noticed what a good feeling you get when you change someone's life? Of course. I get that. Like not only your muntunga, you've changed their life. Nenga gula banga chokoze olusi sina chine nenyo. Nenga for them it's everything. It's true. It's true. Because there's a lot that in consideration you may see small. Yeah. But rather too big for people. Mm. Your life could be big, but rather kubantuabaranga life here went on. No? Mm. You're looking for 500 million, someone else is looking for 500,000. Someone else is looking for 10,000. Yesterday I had a guest visitor, um, a gentleman from the US at my house. Yeah. And we were talking about the difference between US and Uganda, okay. our Africa. Mm. And uh, he kept on saying that um, people in Uganda are poor. And I reminded him that he better, he needs to know that poor is a relative word. word. I told him that Uganda is rich and Ugandans are rich and the world must know that we are very rich. The reason is because we are rich in life. We eat natural food, we have the best weather, we will never run out of food. I can walk out of my compound and eat a mango, jackfruit, we have Wava, neighbors, we have friends, family. Everything. We rear chicken any time in the compound. Yeah. We share with families, neighbors. Yeah. We are not worried about each other, shooting each other. Mm-hmm. We are not worried about stabbing each other. So I told him that the meaning of the word rich, the relativeness is how much money do, you, do people spend on themselves health-wise in the U.S.? People are poor. In the U.S., people are poor. They can't even afford an air ticket to Africa. That's true. But Ugandans can fly any second to the U.S. Mm. An air ticket is between $2,500 to $5,000 if it's business class, let's say. But you find the flights are full. On the way, a flight from here, here, Uganda, to the U.S. Mm. But then, rarely do you find... Someone would ask you, how do you fly from Africa? It's so expensive. Now, that's the money side. Mm. So the relativeness of food was because in the U.S. or in Europe, you eat sugar. Everything has sugar in it. But those countries and governments know for sure that sugar is the poison. Exactly. When you talk about food, sorry to cut you short, when you talk about food, there's a time I traveled out of this country and stayed away for a while. And the first thing that hit me was how expensive it was to buy just an avocado. Natural food. Avocado, just yes. organic avocado. O- organic food. Over just greens. Exactly. At our disposal in Uganda. It's a luxury. If, if you tell someone in Uganda how expensive that is, that if you went in a supermarket with $500 to yeah. buy organic food. Yeah. You wouldn't come back with a, a, a bag full. Yes. It would be a very, very small. Very, very small. St- so, so my Jesus. friend, yeah. I, I told my friend, do you imagine that during COVID, despite the fact that we refer to Uganda as a third world country, but do, do, you, do you imagine we never lost anyone to hunger? No one yeah. died because they didn't eat. Mm. Yet it was considered to be Uganda, one of the countries where people are expected to die mm-hmm. because of the lockdown, total lockdown. I mean, how many years? It was nearly one and a half to two years, yes, total lockdowns. Time, yes. Okay? Mm-hmm. So if you say we are poor for sure, how did people survive? True. 
So people need to go backwards and find out what is rich. Are you what rich in paper money that you don't even own, that the economy is meant to take away from you? Like how, you know, people live in Europe. Mm. You can earn 5,000 pounds, but you, 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 you pay back to expenses, to, 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 to government, mm. uh, taxes, rent, and all your bills. Mm. Out of the 5,000, yeah. you pay back 4,800. And then you clearly tell me you live a good life. I I'd rather get just a, th a hundred pounds mm. in Uganda per month, but it's mine. It's yours. Because surrounding it yeah. is a good environment. Mm. I don't have winter. I don't have summer. Mm. All my crops grow well. I can rear my chicken. I can eat natural food. Because at the end of the day, my health comes from what I what eat. Eating. And that's what they call rich. So I was looking at, the, but we agreed an with him, and, and I encouraged him to, he had come to check out mm -hmm. places, he wants to buy a piece of land in Uganda, he wants to marry his wife and, mm -hmm. and create some wealth for the, for the family. Yeah. I told him, yes, do it, but don't do it in the hands of pity. Exactly. Because you're going to discover that you need to leave the U.S., sell your property and live and here. Live in this country. <laughs> I love how you love your country, Bevan. Uh, you love your country. I love my country, but I love how passionate you are about Julie, it. Julia, because I have traveled, there's no place like home here. That's why it's called it's the Pearl of Africa. a thing, yes. Julie, I was in the States of, of, of late. I tried to find normal food. Yes. Until when um, my brother's wife said, you know what? Mm. I'm going to have to cook for you every day. Because I couldn't stand eating Their everything food, with sugar. Actually, in the country, what I do, I completely removed hotels from my program. Like when I travel, mm. I look for an apartment, Airbnb, whatever, so that I can cook for myself. I'm going to start to travel with uh, two people permanently. A chef. Really? Yeah, okay. because now I can afford. <laughs> I love that. I mean, Julie, look, we have worked hard. Yes. The doctors have asked me mm -hmm. uh, now at this age, yeah. okay, don't do sugar. Yeah. You can no longer eat meat. Um, the little, um, I can't buy 10 cars because I use one. I can't buy 50 houses because I you live in one. one. So yeah. I'm, I'm starting to be realistic on certain things, but where must I spend my money in the next life that I have to live? On myself. On yourself, on your comfort. On my comfort. Yes. So I agreed with my wife. I'm like, you know what? <clears throat> the maids are there. They can do whatever, but I'm taking away the issue of cooking. Mm. But then when I come to travel, I'm going to have to start traveling with my chef. So if I'm going to travel with my chef, only those days when I'm not in the country, you yeah. guys will come back too the kitchen mm. so i'm getting that specific person only for cooking i love that you go to the, the the best he can do is maybe to go shopping for what he must cook yes yes and i found out that the expenditure in a year for example if if you're going to pay this person let's mm. say a thousand dollars per month a chef that is twelve thousand dollars the person who's going to take care of you your, your health your family yeah specific feeding, mm -hmm. diet. Mm -hmm. And then who you would have lived 70 years, you can live 90, 90. or even 100. True. But you're just buying your own life for just $12,000 a year. Now that you talk about food, you know when you came in, we were talking about you know, healthy living and how you're very cautious about that. Mm. Tell me about that. Where are you right now in that space? I, I feel I'm, I'm lucky that I've picked a lot of information and knowledge about the importance of how I should take care of myself. Was it something we, that triggered it, or it was just gradual? It was triggered by the hard work. Okay. I'm seeing, uh, since, since I started, you remember when we started singing? Way back. We, 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 Way back. we have been working every night and day. Sure. So I'm starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel, and yeah. then you start telling me that now this is a, this is a time when my health can be a problem. Yes. So meaning that the time when I'm supposed to get the money that I've been waiting to get, mm. I won't be able to enjoy it because I have cancer, because I have uh, hypertension, because I've got gout. Mm. And all those things, uh, by the way, all those problems come in because of 
feeding. Bad feeding, yeah. The, the misbehaving, you know. So I managed to make so many friends. Mm -hmm. You know music, you know how music has, can bring us friends. Yes. So doctors are part of my best friends in life. When someone tells me they are a doctor, I, I get much interest. Okay. Despite the fact that it's not necessarily me directly, I know I saved most of, I've saved so many people because I sent so many, so many doctors are asking, oh Moses, um, this is my card, I do this and this. So I call for favors mm. for different you know, people in different situations. Mm. So, including my own life. So I think for me, I have uh, put one plus one together and I want to live long. Yes. And I know the key to living long is one, avoid stress, two, yeah. no fights with a wife. Oh, okay. <laughs> Three, eat healthy. Uh. Every rich man must have a chef. There's this no chef need. thing, I'm starting to think about it. I'm telling things. you, there's no need for anyone to have a big belly. Mm. No need. You can have someone who just prepares for you to eat the right thing that won't cost you anything. You won't worry about when to eat because that chef knows they'll have to present food wherever you go, whenever you need. You look at the president. Why do you think he's growing like that? He feeds well. That's that, the thing I've Those had. people, no matter what you do, they cook the right camonde, the right binyewa, the right... Uh, 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 Show the yeah. at the right time in the right sizes, so his body fit to come up. Whatever the man is, eight is not changing yeah, by strength, that, yeah. And he will grow like that. He eats well and he exercises, so he won't have problems with the eyes, yeah. he won't have problems with memory losses. Mm -hmm. He won't have there are certain things that you can avoid, and the earlier, the better. better. Do you have a schedule that you follow when you're eating, like? You have a particular time you eat? Mm. Do you have like a specific yeah, menu? Yeah, I try. I try so much because I know what to eat and what not to eat for now. Okay. I avoid sugars mm. and I avoid uh, uh, eating carbohydrates at night. Okay. Anytime after 7 o'clock, I don't put any carbohydrates in my mouth. Because definitely they break down into sugar. Mm. And most likely in the night you're going to sleep and it will be so easy for them to break down into, into fat. Mm -hmm. So mm. I mm. do maybe pieces of chicken, mm. too, in the night. Mm. So I, maybe I do some fish. Fish is good. Yeah, because it's easy for digestion. Mm. So during the day then I can do some carbohydrates, but I don't eat rice. Mm. Sugar rice out of my... and bread. Yeah. Yeah, they're out of my schedule. Maybe once in a month I can have a piece of bread. Mm. And uh, so it, it, it's easy to, it, in the beginning can be difficult, but it's easy. Because I had to fight with the people at home not to do shopping for specific things. Because when you buy them, then you're going to eat them. Exactly. Look at, look at my wife. She no longer <laughs> does exercises. Mm. She just adopted to my feeding. Good I don't feeding. allow anyone to give my wife sugar. And rice. I love, that. I love that you're doing it together. Yes. Because yeah. it's, it's definitely it's going to be unfair if yeah. I'm going to live 90 years and mm. then she's living. Sigari <laughs> Munyumba Let's go to family since we're talking about zoo, mommy mm. zoo. But mm. you have a rare quality. And this is not to, you know, to put down the men out there. Ne Mm. I love how you love her and celebrate her and give her flowers every day and, and help her elevate as a mm. businesswoman. Mm. That is rare. Yeah, it is. I think, I think if I look back at the time when I needed her mm. and I needed her shoulder, yeah. she did it. She did that. She was just a young little kid. And she trusted me at 18. Yes. She gave in her life. Yeah. She threw away her fun. I met her and, and as soon as she met 18, I didn't even know because she was in Miss Uganda. You didn't know at the time? That she was young. Oh, okay. okay. Yes, I was also young, yeah. 20, 24. Mm. But it's difficult to meet a girl at 18, 19 and she commits to a relationship permanently. Mm. She chooses to stay home, she quits phones, 
she quits her modeling career. She says, you know what? I'm just going to love you. I'm going to trust you with my life. Mm. So right now she's in her late thirties. Mm. How would you ever reward such a person in life? Who has just stood by you? The way you know relationships, the way you know our careers, the way you know the difficulties, the way you have seen Bebe Cool, the music, the politics, the bump and the right, the, mm. the hustle, the bullets, the bombs, the every bad thing that has come my way. Just One person has you. never shaken. Hmm. So I think the best thing I can do is to support her in this second set of life that we have. Mm. I mean, we had the dream to be successful together. We started the journey of being successful. Mm. We had a dream she wanted to be a, a strong, independent, financially, economically, socially woman. Mm. And look at it. You know, she's you back at the university now. She's back? She's, she's in her first year at the uni. Wow. Mm -hmm. So she, she's only doing it. Uh, she told me a story mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. first day she mm -hmm. was at uni. Mm -hmm. Someone asked her, why are you coming to study? I mean, this is strange. What are you doing here? You have kids, have you have a husband, mm -hmm. you have home, you, you have everything. Mm -hmm. What have you come for? Mm -hmm. She laughed and she, she managed to explain a little. Maybe she, she just told it. People have some things they want to do for themselves. Yeah. And I know that one is now to complete her own self-esteem. That's all. Mm. Otherwise, I want to see her happy. Yeah. So that she can replace the happiness she lost as a young girl. Mm. And if people can learn how to sacrifice like that, mm. I mean, what do you lose? At the end of the day, you can always be happy anytime as long as you're safe and alive. Mm -hmm. So Zoo left the clubs, she left the modeling, she left what? She had even tried to sing and she just quit, she said, no, I don't want to. Let me just concentrate on bringing up a good family. Yeah. And now the good family can pay back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How are the kids? Kids are good. Yeah. The kids are good. I saw um, a post mm. about All Africa Games with Alpha. Yes. What's, what's that about? Uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's, he was called up for under 20 okay. uh, national team, Uganda mm. Cranes. Mm. Uh, of course, there are those games, All Africa Games is a tournament that happens in Africa. Mm. And this time they're in Ghana. Mm. So uh, you'd be so lucky to be called as part of it team that goes to compete because that's where people who search for talents mm -hmm. go scouting the, the scouting the managers oh. everyone looks there to look for those kids that are about to break okay yeah so he's lucky that he mm. yeah i really love how you've pushed his talent from i think he was three when i first started yes. taking him to uh, mujib's academy yes. right yes it's been quite it's because a i had I, I believe in, I'm, I'm a different person altogether. The things I do believe in, that's why I told you, with my wife, mm. I, must, I must give her anything she wants. Because she's the only person, maybe with my mother, mm. who believed in my so-called big dreams that were impossible in the <laughs> ears the and eyes of other people. Oh, at the time, I what mean, we were doing was impossible. People it, were like, Yiba Nuba Kulachi. Kulachi. So when I woke up one day, I told my, my wife that we, when we make a family, the boys will play soccer, the girls will do education complete, maybe medic, medicine and law. Yeah. I said, we wrote down, I wrote down those things and had an agreement with her. So mm -hmm. I told her now, when I get the boys, we'll try and fly out and look for a country where, you know, the ratings for soccer yeah. are good enough. Mm. But the girls, we, we can have them here. It's okay. Okay. So I had Alpha. Yeah. Of course, before I had had Alan, yeah. but Alan was living with the mother. Mm. But so I had Alpha, and then we started the journey at age three. Mm. So it, people just kept laughing, laughing. But behind the concept of bringing up these kids in that way in a mm. program, mm. it's because the best investment you can do for yourself is invest in your own in children. Your children. 
And then the best investment is what is in within them, not what is out. Or, As in or what talent, you would want for them. The, the, yes. It is within a talent, even if it was being a carpenter, even if it was being a chef. A chef. Mm. Because no one will ever take away the carpentry from him. No one will ever take away the chef from him. So it was so simple for me to make a decision. I remember one time I wrote and I said, mm. if I had money to build, to, to buy or to, you know, put up a building in town, I wouldn't, mm. I would instead invest that money in my child. And, you know, so many people laughed. But then I was trying to write a book and I'm still writing that book okay. in Uganda. I want that book to be read, read by every Ugandan in mm. the future. Mm. The book is, it's possible. That's what you're going to call it? Yes. Okay. Because you can, Julie, you, you, you can build a child mm. until he's, he's the richest person in the world. You can do it. You can invest. By in identifying them. what they can do. Yes. By also you guiding them into where the real, if it is about money, into where the real money is. Mm. I mean, look at government. is the biggest spender in life in any country. Okay? So let's say there's a budget that is being read. Mm. Why would you, when you listen to a budget, mm. you get to know where government has put a lot of money? Yes. So why would you, let's say government is putting a lot of money in infrastructure and, uh, and uh, farming. Mm. Why then would you invest or look for money in salons? And yet, yet you know for sure government, the biggest spender, put money in infrastructure and farming. Mm. I expect you to know that the biggest spender is your target. Mm -hmm. Every person who doesn't have money must look for money from a person who has money. Yeah. So if the biggest spender has a time when he reads their budget, open your ears, mm -hmm. sit and listen. If they are saying the army, mm -hmm. you look into joining the army. For what you can provide them. You can leave university and go to join the army because the more educated you are in the army, the higher ranks you get to. Yeah. And then you're seeing these guys being driven and b being rich and then you're asking why. Mm. And then you leave university and then you, you, you're looking, popping around the streets looking for jobs. So the identification of the line of becoming successful is actually easy only that people think it is difficult and they don't want to think about it that way so for me i could tell that you know what okay. i need to invest in my children because mm. look unless if it turns otherwise yes if soccer ends at four, at 35 mm. let's say 40 mm. then you can go back to education because now zuena has shown my children that even at 40, you can, you can go back to school. Yeah. That yeah. if you have collected some good money, mm. you have set up some businesses, mm. now you're done with football, you can become a coach or you can own a team, mm -hmm. but you can also go back to school and study business administration, mm. uh, project management, so that you can be able to run your projects well. I've seen your daughter singing. Yes. <laughs> Is, is, is this what she wants to be? Yeah, of course, everyone in my family would, lo would have loved to sing. But music in Uganda as a business mm. is still going to be okay for the young ones. But when you become a family person, the budgets cannot add up. So oh. you need to diversify. Talk about it. So my daughter... I yeah. can support yeah. to sing yes. for a reason. Yes. In today's life and in the next life, people will need brands. Mm. So she can make a brand name. Mm. And then I want her to study medicine. So she can do some music until when the time comes when she has to let go of the music. Yeah. And then Concentrate she opens up studies. a hospital. Mm. So... You imagine today, Juliana, mm. if you had a hospital, mm. if you are a doctor by profession, mm. everyone who gets sick can easily choose to come to your hospital mm. because they know it because is Juliana's hospital. Mm. Exactly. So, but so many people are opening up hospitals and struggling to market them. Platform and success of any business has everything to do with yeah. marketing. Yeah.
You get it. Mm -hmm. So for the girls, I, I I agree with them. We'll do some music together. I will even support them. Yeah. Just for brand creation, mm -hmm. and then they can use their brands later. Mm -hmm. You can see how brand Zuena has helped her. Now she's in Keck. She's in the there. shops are called Zuena. Mm -hmm. Those days when everybody used to ask me, ah, oh you get a new kazi wo muyimba imbo muyimba. I was pushing the brand with intention <laughs> to open up business in her name. Now I can also go for a clothing line if Uganda gets there. Yeah. You get it? Yeah. So we can do that game. So this we, is the we exact can. target we I have. We just have to be deliberate. Deliberate about, about it. You've mm. spoken about a clothing line. And I wanted to ask you about your fashion sense. You really have a good sense of style. Thank you. You really I do. Try. I know that you know it. <laughs> I try. But eh, baby. <laughs> Because <laughs> you really have a good sense of style. Um, you've been trending for the pants, the way I'm bad. Yes. Call you before. Yes. Yes, I you've saw Yes, I You've been that. trending. <laughs> yes. People I, are looking for your, for your stylist now, by the way. No, it's not a stylist from here. You see. Is it? Is it, it do you have like a stylist? Or is it on When I travel. Okay. I, I meet these people. Okay. I specifically go, mm. like when I went for the video shoots, mm -hmm. I specifically go to stylists mm. who got me clothes for my videos mm. and also clothes that I can use for my events for the next six months. Oh. So I, I went shopping and came back with everything. Mm -hmm. I've got the shoes, I've got the clothes. I've got, it's just a moment. Get the right event, hit it up. Yeah. And that's it. Yes. Because that's what an artist is supposed to do. I tried to get stylists here, but you see, they're okay, but they're just upcoming. Yeah. And the creativity is still limited, but it's okay for the young industry. Yeah. But it's not okay for people like me. Mm -hmm. People like me, you make some good money, you got to spend some real good money on yourself. You need, you need to look like the money yeah, you're making. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. So, I, it's intentional. It's intentional. I yes. love that. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. And Julie, it's the only difference. <laughs> it's the only way yeah. I'll be different from the young artists. Yes. We yeah. can't drive the same car. We can't put on the same shoe. No, 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 no. But let me tell you what's also good about it. And mm. and I'm not trying to put anyone down, but I see a lot of uh, celebrity, male celebrities, mm. who sing so well, have got like a whole catalog of hit songs, mm. legendary status. Mm. And the one thing that's probably missing Mm. is branding like how yes, they dress how they exactly. look it is so important and for me it's one of the things i like about you because you pay attention to it, that as it's, well it, i mean the first thing a person would like about art is visual exactly what they see yes our business is called showbiz show that's why the first thing biz. is show with visual eyes can it. see first mm -hmm. before they hear they can let you go away with anything, singing fairly badly, mm. but if you're dressed nicely. And then also when you go for business people, business meetings, um, you know, real people who spend money, mm. first impression is important. When you walk through that door. The I remember, remember the first time when I had an argument with my wife mm. about why I had to buy the hammer before completing my house. Uh -huh. So I told her, look, if I'm going to meet Sudir, mm -hmm. and I... I need to be paid 10 million. Mm. He's going to look at me and see if 10 million fits like in me. Do I look like 10 for... million? Okay? So if I come in a corona, he knows how much fuel a corona you know, takes. Maybe 30K. Yeah. And here you are asking for 10 million. For what? <laughs> this guy's a, a 2 million guy. Yes. You pay him 2 million. If he doesn't want, let him go. Yes. But then when you come in a Humvee uh -huh. and pack it there. Yeah. He knows it's a guzzler. He knows you, you he, because he has one in the compound. Mm. So when you speak 10 million, he's like, oh, it's okay. That, uh, and then you put on suits. So first impression is always important for any artist. Yes. Because it's the first judgment you get. Yeah. Unfortunately, most of our artists don't look at it that way. Hey, man, it's important. But I think we also need to get more stylists. I don't think we have enough in this country. We didn't have enough, but so far, I think we, we are getting... We're getting there. Yes, we are getting there. Mm. Um, I, I see so many young people, creative, being really intentional now. Mm. And I want to encourage them because, you know, you want to be rich, 
bring me something special. Yes. I will pay any money. Because to be honest, actually, that's another market that's going to really get money. Mm. I even advise many young girls to join the makeup industry. Mm. This is an industry that is virgin. Julie, you put on makeup. If I'm taking Zwena out, she goes she to goes for Imani. A visit, yes. Okay, Imani yes. is going to charge Zwena 200000 Yeah. It's okay, I can pay, I can afford, fine. Mm. But that is at 10 in the night. And then by 3 o'clock, when we are back in the night, my wife will wash off the 200000 Exactly. And, and if she has... Work, by the time she's working on Zwena, she has done like 20 others before exactly. her at that same amount. But then if Zwena has another event, the next day she has to go back to who? To, to Imani. Imani. Shout out, Imani. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I know. It's, so it's, so it's, it's kind it's of open. And business, no matter yeah. how many mm. makeup artists are there, they will always have girls because women will always make up for life. Yes, you yes. Know? So there's so many... Gone are the days when even people used to underlook a makeup artist. Yeah. Today, yeah. those are very important people. Very, very important. So, um, there's something I wanted to ask you. What about the time we've been singing? Mm. We've been really blessed that we got a lot of success in our careers. Very much so. In our time right until today we've been getting so much love i mean we still sell out venues mm. and then i was looking at people like a frigo band mm. it's the best example i could think of that for them they are you know ahead of us mm. so meaning mumiaka they're about 50s 60s i think even into 70s, 70s. Mm. and last year i went to a concert at sheraton Mm. Uh, it was an Afrigo band uh, concert. They were celebrating, I forget the number of years, but they were celebrating that number of years. And that place sold out, mm. you know? And the thing that hit me was like, I hope, God willing, that in my 50s and 60s, I can still sell out a venue like these guys. I can still get this kind of love. Do you think about that sometimes? Yes, I do. And it's what you see ahead of you is what's coming. Yeah. Julia, I wouldn't miss your concert for anything. Thank you. Because definitely you sound better and sweeter now mm. when you're growing old. It's just an old wine. Mm. I mean, you listen to Moses Matuf when he's singing today. Ah. Or wake up in the morning and put me on a live band and then play an old video of mine two years ago. The mm. voice just keeps growing and getting better. So what matters is, do I have interest to be on stage by that time? Or do I have the strength to believe in it. Mm. Most of our artists thought that when you grow, you've grown. Ah, become me, Kati, I've awed them. Mm. But Afrigo has just given you the best example. So and why the... Bebe could give up? Why Chameleon give up? Why Julie give up? Yeah. Yet you have the best songs that yeah. at that, and guess what? You're growing with your own audience. Yes. And in that audience of Afrigo, mm. I can guarantee you those are the same guys who have we who are young when Afrigo was young, plus a few who are young, who that is us. Who joined them along the way. Joined along the way. Mm. So it means that as long as you keep it intentional and you keep the brand, mm -hmm. believe me, no matter what type of music would be trending, we always need our old music because it sounds better. We would, Today there is music I can no longer listen to. Like? Hip hop is a bit now okay. too young for me. Okay. So meaning that I would be difficult. It would be difficult for me to go to a hip hop concert. But when you say hip hop, you're probably talking about the young hip hop artists. Yes, the you young. You still listen to Jay Z, right? N it's no? difficult okay. now. Okay. It is difficult. Right. But I, I, I'd love to listen to some jazz. Mm. I'm slowing down. Mm -hmm. But during the time when I'm slowing down is a time when I'm rich. So it means a frigo new that they, 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 their fans are now time. rich. Yes, when they want to listen to the classic. The classic. Movie. You call them for any amount, a table, 5 million, 10 million. Have Frigo band fans? They'll pay. So meaning that your fans yeah. have not paid the 5 million, the mm. 10 million. So you have that space up. Julie, imagine when you're 70 with gray hair. Mm. Do you know how those lights look like on stage? I was seeing, was it Phil Collins? Last, yes, uh, this, yes. The last concert? I think he's saying goodbye. Exactly. Yeah. 
Yeah. But what sad. age is that? Mm. How old is he? he? Must be in the 80s. I Above 70s. Yeah. And, yeah. The, and 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 I understand the concert is sold out. It has to be. So it has So to we be. have to be me I'm looking forward to that time. And also that's why I guided myself with some reggae music because as I grow, yeah. it becomes a bit softer. Mm. So I come out of the dance hall into more vocals yeah. and then lastly more of information. Mm. Mm. So can we say that when you're not listening to you know, the usual stuff or maybe your music, you're listening to reggae music? Yeah. That's I what listen to relax. reggae, I love rock music. You love rock music? I love rock that's music. That's nice. I love just country. Love, I, I just love to hear the sounds in my house. Uh, yeah. Rock music. Though in my car, no music. The radios are off. Really? I don't have a radio in my house. Everyone has... It's so so, so your house is very silent? Yeah. Do you have like TV time with your yeah, family? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a TV guy. Okay. I love movies. Mm -hmm. I like things that lie to me. Yeah. That's how I come up to be creative of impossible things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Action movies, detective. Yeah. I like to to forget yeah. the the real life sometimes. Mm. And then once a movie is done, okay, I wake up, oh, mm. I'm, I'm still in Uganda. Yes. <laughs> Some people say that your children are not your friends. Don't make your children your friends. Your children are your children, you should be their parent. And then I've seen other people who say, make your children your friends. Yes. Because when they're not your friends, then you don't know what's going on. What kind to of parent are you? I'm a, oh, we're friends. friends. That's first priority. Mm -hmm. Because in friends, there comes discussions. In friends, there comes nothing to hide. Mm -hmm. Both sides in friends. That is so important. There comes, you can make good deals. Yeah. Give me, I give you. Mm -hmm. You understand each other. And in friends, you, you're not scared of even opening up. Like, my children know my business. Mm -hmm. I tell them when I go to town, I'm going to work, I'm, going to, I'm looking for this amount, I need to spend it here, we need to do A, B, C, D, and we sit together, all of us. Mm. So, Alpha has grown up knowing the importance of making money and saving to do the right purposes. So is Beata, so is Kaysan, so is Dean, they all get the same information. Mm. But when they get the same information, mm. Each one will ask you their own issues. Each one will come and ask you, based on that information, mm. they ask you their own things. And then that's how you get to understand that, oh, this is okay, their, this one is this way, this, this one thinks like this, yeah. this is this, this yeah. is this. And you can't and get then you there consolidate. if you're not friends. Yes. yes, but you can't get them in unless if you're friends. Exactly. You've seen those families where the father comes back home and it wants scatters. Mm, I you refuse to do that. You don't want to be that. Actually, right? for me, when I come, everyone comes back. <laughs> yeah. Everyone comes out of the bedrooms and they oh. come. Yeah. That's they, nice. they, then, Daddy, did, did you bring something? Mm -hmm. I'm like, guys, what's not there? <laughs> But they just want to come and say hi yeah. and sit, go around. And mm. then sometimes they feel so bad. They come to me and say, Dad, we haven't seen you for three days. There are some days when they don't see me at all, but we live in the same house. Because maybe I come back after two, and then they leave at, at six for school. And it can happen on and on. But believe me, the best friend you have is your child. Mm. Mm. I, I can see now my relationship with my mother. Yeah. Imagine if we weren't best friends, if we weren't friends, really. Would I care? I know. And then right now is a time when she needs to be taken care of. I was actually going to ask you about your mother. Mm. You threw a party, a huge one for her, and gave her this beautiful ride. <laughs> <laughs> and we're all like, eh, the bad to cause that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to do for our mothers? Mm, I know, you know, Julie, they deserve. It was such a challenge. But I loved how you celebrate your mother. Mm. Tell she, me about your relationship with her. She was, uh, she, she had uh, 10 kids with, the, she said them with uh, four husbands. Okay. But I'm the last born. 
we are three, mm. mom and dad. But I'm 46 years old mm. and I've never seen my mother with a man. In my mother's house, mm. there has never stepped a man. So she has lived her she life for me. dedicated to raising her children. Her children. That's it. It takes so a lot. remember when you are a parent, now yeah. you are, mm. you're raising children, you're saying, mm. let me raise them well so they can be well in life and then they can take care of me. Yeah. Yeah. So imagine when you are successful, mm. who do you pay first? Your mother. It's your parents. Mm. So I... Uh, I had, when I met Zwena, I gave her lines. We were married. We went to, we did the office thing. Mm, I know. So we didn't do the, the big wedding. Yeah. Because I, 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 I and her sat down and I told her I cannot step in front of your father and mother, uh -huh. in front of my mother and mm. my father to marry you with a big wedding mm. in the presence of all the big people I know that are my friends. Mm without thanking them. So I told her we have a, a deal. Mm -hmm. We give them everything that they have required and dreamt about, and then we can do our party wedding. Mm -hmm. So just last year, she completed a very nice big house for her mother wow. and father in wow. Jinj. How beautiful. So now I'm also doing, doing completing mother mom's side yeah. so that when they come to the wedding party or anniversary party they're they, also they, happy in their they, own they, lives. they just eat cake and water and happy yes it's not i have seen so many parents questioning yeah on weddings you know we sing at weddings you mm. look at the the, the, the man's side the the high table mm. you're like i can see questions in in this mother mm. you know girls when they are taken mm. they are taken completely yes but remember, a mother has brought her, her daughter yeah. with hope that maybe my daughter will take care of me. Mm -hmm. Then girls, when they get married, they become a different a family. Part of the other family. You get it. Mm -hmm. So it's dif difficult for them to keep thinking backward. Yeah. Even boys, when they get money, they concentrate on uh, impressing their wives. Mm -hmm on their nucleus family, most mm. of them. Mm. And they tend to forget yeah. how they used to take black tea mm -hmm. with mommy before going to school. Mm. Mm. So for me, I don't want to live with that guilt. Mm. Um, I, I never saw my mom drive a Mercedes mm. and then I buy one for my wife. Mm. Really? Mm. Yes, I bought one for my wife and I was guilty, so I had to give one to and I had first given one to my dad, by the way, only that I didn't, you didn't speak post about it. it. You didn't tell us about he, it. No, I didn't. <laughs> Him is a big guy. Yeah. 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 For my mom, it was special. Yeah. She, I mean, she's 82. First of all, to have an opportunity that an 82 can drive mm. is another thing. She's driving herself? Yeah. That's she's good. driving herself. That's, That's the reason why I got her that car. Okay. Because she can drive. Her eyes are good. She's strong. Yes. And she's 82. And it's a safe car. And it's a safe car. Mm. So... I wanted, we used to be together in that house and talked about ifs, mm. if one, if two, if three, mm. <laughs> <laughs> me and her. Yeah. And I mean, it's the best pride, that, the, the package that I can have for myself. Yes. Let's talk a bit about music. Mm. Where are you right now? Are you planning something for us? Yeah. Who love you? Music I'm planning, yes. Uh, yeah. I must do some albums. Okay. Of course, I want to do mm. join the bandwagon of Afrobeat. Mm. Music is still my my main line because it holds my brand up. Yeah, I cannot cut the the the, the, the legs of a cow off. Mm -hmm. So can I cut them off? Mm. The cow won't be able to move to look for food. Mm -hmm. So yes, I'm, I'm I'm coming up with an album, mm -hmm. two actually. Two good. Yes, mm. coming up with two albums soon. Yeah. And then I'll get back on stage next year. And speaking of stage, can I first tell you, I'm sure you know it, but I'll just say it again. What a great performer you are on Thank stage. Thank you. You too. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but you killed it at UB40. I wasn't there. 
but I saw you. I saw you on my phone. And you were killing it. Oh my God, that was an amazing performance. I loved okay. watching Yungo, Zina Maganda. Mm. Kiga, you can do it all. And um, what I wanted to mention is that I have followed you, I mean, since we started singing. Mm. And over time, you have become a better performer. Mm. Over time. It's been gradual and it keeps it's going. Just, we, we keep learning. Yeah. Your presence is amazing on stage. Thank you. We keep planning. You keep, th and and some things come naturally mm. as you grow. Yes, because so of maybe the I've also learned that we we don't have to push too much. Yeah. Because there are some things that will come at their time. Exactly. exactly. Humans must learn that aspect. Mm -hmm. you, you push only where you can, and then let the rest come natural. Because mm. today I'm imagining if. I, I, I'm given a stage like the one I had on the Mandela concert when I was young. Mm. The 4364. The things you do Make on a mistake stage and today. give it to me today. <laughs> I know the feeling. Like the UB40 concert, really that was for my bedroom to just uh, play around. Uh, and because it was a party for yeah. NBS. Mm. I mean, it wasn't something that we really had to. And I did rehearsals once. With the band. That's how good Just you are. Just once. <laughs> yeah. So I'm imagining, I'm saying, oh, wow, yeah. people were happy with my performance. Then it was really I good. think the next time I do rehearsals for three months mm. or four months for my concert, it, it will be killer. Well, we can't wait because we love you so Inshallah. much. We can't wait. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw in something. Huh? Mm. I, I still daydream mm. about the day that I'll see the three of you sitting on a round table and just having lunch and having drinks mm. and just chatting. You, Chameleon, and Bobby Wine. I'm very sure it will come. I say that with the background of where we came from yes. and how I used to see you through. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we are lucky we are still alive. Yeah. What I know is different challenges force us into our spaces. Mm. But you know, as you grow, space becomes smaller. And then automatically you end up back in the same circles. Mm. I know we we have our differences, yes. but also age will help. Yeah. And then decision making. People can go wrong and tomorrow they can always be mm. right mm. or can rectify. Mm. I can guarantee you that that day will come because we, we have a history. We do. And this country needs to end in triumph. Yes. So the, the th we still have very strong uh, intentions, mm. all of us, each individual, because the journey is halfway. Mm. But I'm very sure, that they will very come. sure that they will come. Well, we can't wait. Sevo Mami Sally. Yes. I'm going to mention, I have a little game here at the end. Okay. Where I just mention a name. Mm. And you tell me what comes to mind about this person. Okay. Jose Chameleon. <laughs> Music. Mm. Music is what comes in my head. Music. Mm. Joseph, Joseph, Joseph. I think I would have written a different history if Joseph did not join me <coughs> in music. Mm. I don't think I would have, because he has given me very stiff competition and he has forced my hand into different directions which have been successful. Remember, I was with him in Nairobi. Yeah. Mm, so I really. I can't describe Ugandan music without him. Without him in there. I have his soul. I am the sole person who understands him mm. in the beginning. This is a guy who used to want to be like me. This is a guy who even took me on his border borders just to be a friend of mine. Mm. This is a guy who never knew he could sing. Isn't that interesting? And then here he is, he calls me when I'm in Nairobi. 
Oh, wow. And the things that we've gone through really, he has, he has, he has described a lot, a lot of our music in Uganda, a lot. Mm -hmm. I can tell you with authority. Mm -hmm. So hear his name, read his name. Wow. Red Sun. <laughs> Red Sun. Music, uh -huh. friendship. Yeah. yeah. You started out with him? Mm, Kenya? I, I, he like uh, one of the first people? When I went to Nairobi, yeah. he's the first person I, I started to work with. Mm. He's a humble guy, mm. very humble. And he's a sharing and caring individual. Because mm. when Joseph came, when Chameleon came to Nairobi, he found me working with Red Sun. Oh. Okay. So when Red Sun found out that there's another Ugandan who has come, he told me, Bring him on, let's work together. Oh. We can't leave him. Oh, can you hear that? That's what we he said. We can't leave him. He said, we can't leave him. Because Joseph didn't have where to stay. Joseph was, had no plan. Mm. But of course, I wasn't going to leave him. Yeah. But because I was singing with Ritson, and Ritson was a bit younger than mm. me, and I owned the deal in the studio, mm. he probably thought I wasn't going to allow Joseph to join. Oh, and that yeah. is what made the first East African Ambushment grow. Yeah. Within that same week when we decided, and then they became very close friends. Mm. Very, because they were age mates. They were mm. a bit younger than I. Mm. And they didn't like to always be with me because I acted older. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I wish the people knew the, the things that were happening in Nairobi <laughs> between Joseph, me, and Red <laughs> You know, an elder brother, Joseph and Redson have always seen me as the elder brother. Yeah. And it kind of worked, mm. but it, it drove them away from me because I was always too strict. Too strict with them. Yeah, with them. And then they had ah, this guy. This guy is so controlling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Since my childhood, I've, I've always tried to be straight. Yeah. So it doesn't work well with so many people. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm actually, in my family, I'm also trying to soften it. Yes. Like on but it's a good thing. Son. It's a good thing to be the one who keeps people in line. It's a good yeah, thing. but you have to control it so they don't fear you. Yeah, exactly. I try so much to make sure that my kids don't fear me. They do fear me so much. Yeah. But it's not necessary. I keep telling them. Yes. We we. That's why I told you about the friendship. Uh, and I've asked my wife every time you, you see the fear of daddy in their eyes, yeah. please talk to me mm. so I can soften. Yeah. Mm. Dizzy nuts. Oh. Rest in peace. Mm. Rest in peace. Special talent. I just had a feeling, this kid. Mm. You know, God works in his own ways. You think otherwise, he, he plans otherwise. Yes. You can plan no matter what you do, but God has his own plans. Dizzy was a special kid. Mm. And then all of a sudden, drugs. This is one of the main reasons why I keep attacking the drug issue in the industry. Mm -hmm. Because we, we have lost the best talents to drugs. I know. And we are still losing more to drugs. It is a I'm imagining very we did one song and we were at the mobiles in the UK. Yes. With that boy that boy had a voice. At that time, hmm. that boy would have blown. That boy had a talent. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, he goes. And the question is only drugs, nothing else. But I do miss him though. I tried to replace him, it yeah. couldn't work. Yeah. Still, the problem was drugs. Yeah. Mm. And finally, Rema Namakula. Yeah. I'll never stop seeing her like or feel or think yeah. about my daughter. Because um, for me, no matter what happens, mm. she's a child to me. Yes. It is because of how, in which conditions I got her mm. or them. Uh, I had Rema, I had uh, Ronnie, I had Edith. Rony, Rony Mutawazi, I had Edith. Mm. Rema excelled 
uh, excelling depends on several things. Yeah. Talent, mm. patience, behavior, yes. choices mm. of things you do, mm. and finally luck. Mm. Mm. And then and it, she stood out in all those things. It's not turning out. Mm. It's the it, the combina the concussion, the combination you make out of it. Mm. Each person makes their own combination. Mm. I'll give you a good example. Ronnie was singing, but he was singing way older music, yet he was young. Mm. So his music could not appeal mm. because he wasn't, he could not, it's just like a kid of 22 years old singing mm. about family. I mean... What does he know about family? What does he know about family? So people yeah. with family would never hire him. Yeah. It's because he's believable. young, first of all. Mm. Two, he's, he's, yes, he has a good ambition to do good music, but he's young. He doesn't know what family is. Yeah. But then a man of 45 and above, when they sing a song about family, even kids will believe. Yeah. Because the kids know that man has ever had a family. Mm -hmm. So that was the only issue. Mm. But he had discipline. And until recently when I made him one of my managers. Okay. Because I want to make sure at the end of the day, mm. what we were looking for the goal was success. Mm. Before I die, I must make sure he's successful. Then for Edith, it was the other way around. She was the opposite of Rema. Edith had her own things she wanted mm. to do. She was with me, but it, it was like she wasn't. Mm, so she wasn't there a hundred percent. Yeah, she. Yeah. It's, it's, it's it's it's. If you call her to sing or you have a concert, it's okay. She was there, mm. but it was like she wasn't because the next thing you'll hear certain things, and then you're like Jesus Christ. Mm. Okay. Mm. You see, when you're building brands, I saw um, a clip recently. Uh, Rest in peace. Her dad passed mm. last week. And I think Barry has been a few days ago. You mean Edith's uh, dad? Ed, yes, Edith's okay. father. Mm. Um, but I saw a clip of the father complaining that I kept her daughter mm. at the back. But I wish that father knew which daughter I took over. Mm. Which, of course, I can't say. Yes. And I'm not going to say bad about my, my daughter because she's still my daughter. Yeah. I wish her the best. I left her to go. Mm. But only if she, he was alive for me to ask him did he really know his daughter? At that time. Because parents, when we, when we get these people to help them, they don't have a single idea of who their kids are. Yes. Where they, what they do in the night, where we pick them, their characters, mm. the things they go through that make them become who they are. Mm -hmm. So for us, you want to mold someone. Yes. But he's coming in with a package of things. They, they, they must want it for themselves. You get it. That dream you have for them, they must want it. They, you have to want it and, and you have to be disciplined to yeah. get it. Yes. We have sacrificed and we have left so much just for us to be successful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I remember, I'll never forget the times, the two times, every other time when I wanted to do. The last time, let me talk about it, it's last time that I gave up. Mm. I made this program after COVID. Mm. I said, no, I have to release this girl, mm. I'll, an album, because she's the best singer. Actually, she for really me, I'll tell a, you, yeah. Edith K has the best voice. She had a good voice. She has, if you compare she Rema and Edith, mm. Edith has the better voice. Mm. She's stronger, mm. okay? But then, it's not about the voice. Yes. Music is There's never more. about the voice. There's oh, yeah. way much more. So I go, I put up the studio, I put up budgets. I prepare Edith to launch Edith out. Yeah. We even shoot one video. Uh-huh. We, we, uh, the songs written were about six. Mm. She had recorded three. Mm. We shot one video, mm. and then she was pregnant a month later. As I was looking for her, she was hiding, and she was pregnant. And the program of pregnancy takes two years. Mm. The year of having the pregnancy, and the minimum I can allow anyone to and breastfeed a child. So all the child. money that I had yes. put aside, mm 
went flush. And you see the thing with music is if it also takes long to come out, exactly. the it, sound the, will the not sound, sound the same two the, years later. All, exactly as you say. Oh. So we were so heartbroken. Yeah, and imagine. that was the second time. You were trying. Because the first time was when I was again shocked that she was pregnant. Yes. But as a father, I had to support the situation, allow her to deal with her family. Her interest was to impress her boyfriend, they have a life. So she was dealing with so many things mm. and she wasn't taking my advice. Yeah. And I remember before going in for the second uh, option, mm. I remember talking to her about what happened in the beginning. And I told her the programs of how it is difficult to work with a, a, an artist who is pregnant. Mm -hmm. You see what Julius Chaze did with mm -hmm. Vinka. Mm -hmm. They had to bring in another artist to fill the gap. To fill the gap. Mm -hmm. And Vinka is very lucky to be able to return into the system. Very lucky. Very lucky. Mm -hmm. You know what it takes. Mm -hmm. So if you keep taking those big breaks, yes. no one is going to wait for you. It costs. And then I want them, everybody to remember that I was still an artist who was still doing music. Doing your own thing as so well. if I'm going to put money in and time into a person who does not notice yeah. how important it is, mm. I'd rather put it back in me. Mm. So everyone comes with their own package. Yeah. I was hurt, I'm hurt that maybe her career did not kick off, mm. but maybe she's lucky to have her kids. You know, sometimes you, you may think that you're going to be successful in something, but then maybe she's giving birth to a president mm. of Uganda in the future. You might want so, something for someone so much, mm, and yet God has, has a, different, a plan. different plan for them. So that's where the blame game must never happen, because we don't determine. We don't. But Julia, I can tell you the things that I go through with picking people I don't know whose yeah. backgrounds. It is the hardest thing. Hmm. It is the hardest. But I thank God that uh, amongst all, maybe I only lost dizzy nuts to an accident. The rest are alive. They, mm. they, they chose whatever they chose. Yes. It wasn't up to me. Mm. Um, but I still insist that uh, the end game mm. must be success. It doesn't matter how, mm -hmm. as long as you're not hurting people. Yeah. I can still support anyone of them mm. as long as it has everything to do with being successful in life. You don't have to be successful because we are singing. Mm. But you can be successful if you go back to school. I can imagine if Edith came back to me and said, Rasta, please pay for my course mm. uh, or uni. How do it one second like this? Edith, if you're listening. But music? <laughs> uh-uh. Mm. Because I know that time has gone. I mean, mm. there are so many young ones who have come mm. up. Yeah. Maybe somebody else can pick her and, mm. and you know, you never know. Yeah. But, you know, there's a lot of things. Yes. But... It is important, and this message goes to every young artist. Yeah. When you go to work with people, please try to disconnect from your other mm. package. Give it 150%. So you encourage the person who is actually investing in you. In you. Who is pushing you I mean, Julie, back. you come as a girl, you want me to help you in music, but you're coming with a package of your boyfriend yeah. who tells you where to be yet the company is telling you where to be. Mm. So how are we going to agree? You need to focus. You need to focus. You, 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 you're looking at making a family with your boyfriend. Mm. Then how am I supposed to do music with you? Yes. I Everything can't. Should have its Maybe time. that family issue is also important for you. So you go do the family. Yes. Because Finish that's, with the family, then you then come and... Exactly. Or the other way around. Or the other way around. So. Ah, <sighs> baby cool. I don't know how to thank you, but I just want to say thank you for You're making welcome. the time to come. Uh, this platform, why I started this platform, was really to celebrate people who've been outstanding in the arts and everywhere else, but mostly in the arts. I feel like we don't celebrate our own people enough. True. We don't celebrate people like Bebe Kool enough. Mm, you that's know? true. So I just want to thank you for making the time. And also thank you for really being there for people. I've known you for so many years, but you are one of the kindest human beings I've ever met. Thank you. Yeah, I just thought I should say that to you. Thank you. And encourage you to continue being kind, you know.
But yes. I also pray people can be kind to me. I, I'm sure because they the more are. You, <laughs> the more you are kind to people, yes. sometimes you, you just keep getting Um <laughs> Well, the beautiful thing about being kind is that for the most part, you do it for yourself and for God. Yeah, it's because true. Because God rewards you a hundred times more. It's true. For me, that's what I chose to, you know, concentrate on mm. and not worry about, oh, I did this for someone and they didn't say I, I thank you. I don't need anybody like, wow. to do things to, for me, but yeah. at least I don't need people to hurt me. Yes, yes. That's you get true. it? Mm. And then that situation also, Julie, affects my family mm. because my family just keeps asking this guy, you keep on doing good things for people, but mm -hmm. see how you're being treated. So I keep telling them that I don't do it for them for to do that. good to me, yes. but I'll also make sure that I don't deal with people who are going to do bad to me. Exactly. Because they're taking care of mm -hmm. their dad. Mm -hmm. uh, my wife has to protect me. Because yes. when I get disappointed or when I get hurt, mm. there's one person I go to is mm. my wife. And mm. then she's like, who did what? But she's the same. Let's say I gave out something to a person. Mm -hmm. And then that person is one who hurts me. Then my wife is like, I'm not allowing you to help anyone else. Yeah. But then tomorrow there's another person in need. Mm -hmm. You get it? Mm -hmm. So I'm very, very sure in my life I don't do it to get paid yeah. by those people I do it for. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. I do it because, first of all, it's comforting to me. Mm -hmm. Then tomorrow, as I see the person I helped go through life, mm. I just keep smiling. You know you added I'm like, okay, something to I them. I did that. Yes. And Please don't stop being kind. Please don't I can't stop. stop. There's a lesson I learned from someone recently. I was talking about this. I was like, sometimes you're so kind to people and they're not as kind back to you. They're doing things like this. And this person just made a statement and said, you know, sometimes you can love someone from a distance. Mm. Yeah, and you don't <sighs> I was like, show. wow, it really opened my eyes. Mm. And I realized that sometimes you don't have to block people. Mm. You don't have to stop being kind, mm. but you can actually love them from a distance. Mm. If they maybe they don't you know, respect your boundaries, mm. you keep mm. them at a distance and still love on them from where you are. And they can learn slowly. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. true. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a moment that I usually think about. Mm. Remember, I have the golden heart. And my concerts mm. are called Golden Heart mm. Concerts. Mm. I usually look for kids who have issues with their hearts. The heart, yeah. So the nine kids that we last worked on mm. are all alive. Oh, how good. All of them oh. with their scars. Oh. They are so proud with their scars. That's so beautiful. my next concert, mm. I want them to be there. And oh. then I'll show the people. Yes. So that's the pride I'm talking about. I don't expect anything. I just want to mm. see their smiles. Mm. Their mothers are finally smiling. Yeah. Do you know what it means when you have a child with a heart problem? You know for sure in life no one's going to save this child. Yeah. And then there comes an individual who just pays for you mm. and the child gets back to normality. You put a smile on the mother, you put a child. smile on the father, and you put a smile on the child. Amen to that. Thank you so much for you're coming, Rebecca. I wish you the very best in all you're doing. Thank you. In everybody else, you hope to put your hands on and push and elevate and treat through Golden Heart. Thank you. I wish you nothing but the best. And thank you for inviting me. Thanks I, for I've coming. enjoyed. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Only too. you could. I enjoyed more. Only you could get this interview from me. Oh. <laughs> How lucky am I? And I encourage all the big stars. <laughs> and, and by the way, please do yeah. this. Because mm. we only have to be comfortable with a person. Yes. And I think it's so therapeutic we can give when, you talk, yes. when we talk to each other. Because exactly. we're in the same be business. Because we are in the same business. We understand each Rather than a pain. media personality asking me questions for just questions. They can't even relate to them. Relate to mm. them. This, the, the science between this yes. makes you want to you know, give. Yeah information for the good of the people for the good because people need to know yeah people need to understand that we're not here by mistake mm -hmm. we're here and, and and we are to stay because exactly. it, it's been planned it's, we have worked for it we have all the pillars most of us have all the pillars you know firm mm -hmm. and then maybe that kind of this kind of show is one of the shows that can guide young people 
Because truly, we need to guide young people. Oh my God, we really have to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Magic. 